Since the couple walked down the aisle in May, there's been much speculation about when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will start a family. The couple revealed last year that they would like children in the near future, and with the recent arrival of Prince Louis, it would make sense if his uncle Harry was feeling that little bit more broody. With Meghan turning 37 next month, odds are the pair won't leave it too long before trying for a baby, and it could turn out to be the patter of several tiny feet. Due to Meghan's age she is more likely to have twins, or even triplets, than a woman still in her 20s. Helen Turrier, head of family and professional support at Tamba, Twins and Multiple Births Association, explained, Older women, so women in their late 30s, early 40s, are more likely to hyperovulate. This means they're more likely to release two eggs or more per cycle than younger women. Therefore it is believed that's why there's a higher incidence of multiple birth babies in older women. As far as we understand, it's due to changing levels of hormones. According to NHS Choices, as women get older the number and quality of egg cells that are produced by the ovaries declines. If Megan were to need assistance with conception, such as IVF, then that is also likely to boost her chances of having twins or even triplets. If you have one fertilized embryo put back, in some cases that can split into two identical monochorionic, monozygotic twins, which is why you can have one embryo put back and end up with twins, Helen said, in the UK we have quite strict rules, you either have one embryo put back, and in some circumstances you're allowed two, and one of those may split and become two, so you can have two put back and end up with three, whereas overseas there is no limit. Which is why we get women who have had fertility treatment abroad come back pregnant with triplets or quads. According to the Office of National Statistics, there were 696,271 babies born in England and Wales in 2016, compared to 697,852 in 2015. Of these, there were 10,951 women who gave birth to multiples, 10,786 had twins and 160 had triplets compared to 11,073 in 2015. There were also five sets of quads and above born. The website states, since 1993, women aged 45 and over have consistently recorded the highest multiple maternity rate. This is due to higher levels of assisted fertility treatments at these ages, including medicines which stimulate ovulation and assisted conception which includes in vitro fertilization, IVF. When comparing 2016 with 2015, the overall decrease in the multiple maternity rate has been driven by the fall in the rate for women aged 30 and over. The rate increased slightly for women aged under 25, but remained unchanged for those aged 25 to 29.